Hello and welcome to the Bearski Film Review. Please click subscribe to help support the channel and get all of our content. Today, we're going to look at the Week 7 matchup between the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots. This was by far the most enjoyable game to watch since the 2018 season for Bears fans. So, we're going to focus in on one of the most important metrics of all, third down conversions. Bears were able to get 11 conversions, which the league record is 12 conversions set by the Colts with Peyton Manning. So, let's take a look at some of these key plays. On the first drive, the Bears come up in a third and fourth situation. Here you can see there's a great design by the offensive coordinator, Luke Getze. The outside receiver is able to get both defenders to collide, leaving Mooney wide open. Then, on 3rd and 14, the Bears run the ball just to get in the field goal range and they go up 3 to nothing. On the next drive, the Bears wind up in a 3rd and 6. Fields is flushed out of the pocket, but he keeps his eyes up field. He finds an open receiver in number 19, St. Brown. Now the Bears are up 10 or nothing, but on the next drive they go 3 and out and they have to punt. You can see here on third down, there's really nobody open, and really no play to make. Fields needs to learn how to just throw the ball away in these situations instead of taking a sack and fumbling the ball. The Bears are up 10-7, and on a 3rd and 5 situation, a Patriots defender gets his hands up in the air and tips the ball. It does get intercepted. Unfortunately, this is becoming a bad pattern for Justin Fields, but it is a fluke play. Hopefully, it just doesn't continue. Now, on the next drive, on 3rd and 1, Fields sneaks for a first down. This is another great example of a good design by Luke Getze. He splits out a running back out wide, and a linebacker is covering him. Now, a linebacker is not used to setting an edge here, so of course he's going to sit there and fall for the deep route. He thinks he's mismatched. He thinks he's about to get a bomb. Now, here's where the magic really starts to happen for the Bears. On 3rd and 14, I'm not sure how many other quarterbacks in the league can make this play. This is why Fields shows a lot of potential. This is why he's worth keeping. He's only in his second year, and he's able to make plays that not many other quarterbacks can. Then, on 3rd and 16, Mooney and Fields just make another great play together. Mooney may not be a number 1 wide receiver, but he's definitely a 1A or a number 2 for sure. The Bears stack more points here, and they're able to go up 20-14. to 14. Now, the rest of the game, you got to give huge credit to the defense. They didn't let the Patriots score again. When they did take risks while they were up, they were safe risks. Here he just overthrows the receiver, but it's either the receiver catches it or nobody catches it. Positive signs continued from the Bears offense. They kept converting third downs and they kept stacking points. That, of course, not being by design. Fields takes it. Pay down at eight. 
And with that, a handoff to Montgomery. Put it all on the players. Said he's had great players over the years, and that's why they've won the games they've won. Here's a pass to St. Third down and one. Montgomery picks it up. Still rumbling. Down near the six. My favorite part about this game, though, is at the very end. The first thing that Fields goes and does is signs autographs for the fans. Beyond his skills and his talent, he's just a great person. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel, and there will definitely be more to come. Bear down.